Hi, welcome to this Excel tutorial on data tables. Now we're going to look at a data table with a single variable and this is the example I've got here. This is my little travel agency, Fantastic Flights. You can see here I've got a price of a holiday, £728 and I want to put a range of discounts in here starting with 3%. Now I've put my discount here, 3%, 5%, 7%, 10% and what I want is to create a simple sort of ready reckoner so that people will know how much that is. The first thing I need to do is to put a formula in here that tells Excel what to calculate. What I've done is I've said I want to take the amount in cell C3 which is here, the price of the holiday, minus the amount in cell C3, in other words the price of the holiday times C4 which is where we're going to put the discount. Now I'm going to get Excel to substitute this cell here C4 with each of these cells in turn okay and I want to put the results in here okay so I'm going to put these right underneath the price of the holiday. Now at the moment I've got no discount applied so the price is the full price here, £728, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a data table. It's very important that you put the formula with a single variable data table. You put the formula one row above and one column to the right of the values that you're going to substitute in this cell. And You can make this cell anywhere. It doesn't have to be there. I've just put it there for convenience sake. Okay, so you must include the formula in the data table okay you must include that so I'm going to select cells B6 down to C10 and I'm going to go up to the data menu I'm just going to move the camera a little bit over to what if analysis click on the drop down choose data table that opens this little dialog box here Let's move the camera back again so there's my data table dialog box and what it's asking me is what's my row input cell and what's my column input cell well I've got all my values here arranged in a column so that's not going to apply to rows so in fact what I need to do here let's get rid of that again is I need to select the column input cell up to you how you do it I prefer to use the selector button there and I'm going to choose that cell there which is where I've told Excel that my discount is going to be substituted Okay, click back on there. You see what it's done. It's put an absolute reference in C4. Click OK, and there you go. Thanks for watching.